Hey traders, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I want to go over a new feature that TradingView developers have added to PineScript, which is the Pine Profiler. So this will be a pretty quick video. This is a pretty self-explanatory tool. Um, basically what it does is it analyzes your script's runtime or execution time and tells you where the bottlenecks are in terms of uh, what's slowing your script down when you first add it to a chart. Our new profiler reveals what's going on behind the scenes by showing you how much time the PineScript runtime spends on each part of your code. Um, this is how you enable it. I'll show you that in a moment. And this is what it looks like. So let's jump over to the Pine editor and I'll just show you really quickly how this works and give you an idea of what we can use it for. All right, so here on my chart, I have my ultimate pullback indicator script added, which is the most uh, complex script I've ever written with about 900 lines of code. So this would be a good, uh, good way to test what this profiler does in terms of finding out where the bottlenecks are in this script. Now this isn't an open source script because it's taken years for me to build this, uh, but you can get the source code on my website if you're interested in checking it out. But here is where we enable the profiler mode. So you click on this little drop down box here next to update on chart, click enable profiler mode. And now this tool is going to re-execute my script and flag the top three bottlenecks in my code. So if I click on this um, flame icon here, here are some um, points that have been flagged for taking up uh, the top 3% of our execution time. So this particular line of code, this one line of code here is taking up nearly 3% of the execution time for the script, which is about 92 milliseconds. Now there's not a lot we can do about most of these bottlenecks. Sometimes your script just takes a while to execute because it's doing a lot of analysis and there's no way around that. Uh, that happens to be the case in this particular uh, situation with this line of code. There's nothing I can do with this line of code to improve its efficiency um, and make it execute faster. It's just going to take that long. That's just how it is. But it's interesting to note that this is what's uh, holding up the script uh, a bit when it's analyzing price action. This UPI uh, library is actually my Zen library, which is open source and on the um, TradingView script library. Uh, so if I copy this, control click, and I search for it. Um, this function counts how many green bars and red bars have printed recently. Uh, essentially a pullback count. So let's open up the source code and find this line of code. Here it is. So this is in my library and I'm executing this on every bar that I analyze in my ultimate pullback indicator. And what this uh, function is doing is looping back this many bars, our look back parameter is how many bars to look back. The direction is bullish or bearish. So if it's one, then we're counting how many bullish bars printed. If it's negative one, we're counting how many bearish bars printed over this look back period. Uh, this function is what's taking up 3% of my execution time for this script. Now, again, there's nothing I can do about that. There's no way to optimize that particular code, but if there was now, <laughs> to be honest with you, most of my scripts, as far as I know, all of my scripts are pretty well optimized. So I couldn't even think of an example script that would need improving in this regard in terms of execution time. But there would be plenty of situations where you open up this profiler, you run your script through it, and it flags a block of code that you can go and analyze. And there will certainly be times where you will find code that could be optimized to be more efficient. So if you do have a slow script that takes a particularly long time to execute, uh, this is obviously an invaluable tool to debug your script, flag the blocks of code which are taking that um, extended period of time, and you can have a look at them, scrutinize them, maybe make them more efficient. Um, so that's just a cool little tool. I don't think many people would need to use it, but obviously the more complex your script is, the more likely this would come in handy. Uh, there's not much more to say about this. The flame icon at the bottom left margin represents the top three of the most performance intensive code segments. Clicking the icon will take you to those segments and the percentage value shows you the percentage time of the total time your script takes to execute. Uh, I'll leave links to this below in the video description for you to check out if you're interested in this tool. The vast majority of you guys will probably never need to use this, um, but for those of you who do make particularly complex scripts with a lot of moving parts, a lot of for loops, a lot of while loops, um, dealing with arrays, that sort of thing, uh, this could be worth checking out to see if there's a way you could improve and um, optimize your script to be more efficient. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Good luck with your trading. Goodbye.